I've been involved in drive-by breaking in houses. Can this bug life be saved? I want to change. Ms. Hamilton, we have uh, quite an issue before the court. That you're concerned about your niece. Tell me what's happening, Ms. Hamilton. She lives with me, her and her daughter. They do not pay any And how wish. old is her daughter? Three. And she is now expecting a second child. She's seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant, is that right? Yes, that is. All right. My main concern is for her unborn child and her daughter, and I do not want her daughter to be out on the street. Why are you concerned? Because children learn from example. She's setting a bad example. For her child, she's going to set a bad example for the next one that's on its way. Um, and she's, she's not a bad person. She's just involved in the wrong things. So tell me about your involvement in the gang. My involvement in the gang is that that's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to do. So how long have you been in the game? I've been in since I was 17. What have you been involved in? I've been involved in drive-bys. I've been involved You've in... You've been involved in drive-bys? Breaking in houses. I've been involved in all kind of things. How did you get into the game? I was jumped in. Jumped in meaning that you were beat up? Yes. By several folk? How many yes. folk? 16. 16 folk. And you survived yes. that? Yes, I did. Yes. So are you pregnant out in the street fighting now? Yeah. Last fight I had was last Saturday. So you're fighting, are you not understanding that you're putting this unborn baby at risk? At the time, I don't think about it like that, no. Are you doing drugs? I do uh, alcohol. I alcohol. Smoke. I smoke, yeah. So you're, so you're abusing alcohol and you're smoking, you're smoking mm -hmm. and you're pregnant? Mm hmm Are you concerned about this child being born with serious birth defects? Yeah. Then why are you doing it? Because that's what I want to do. When your daughter gets older, what, is, what do you want her to be, like you? You want her to be involved in no. this? You want to see her fighting? No. You want to see her in prison? They learn by example. Her so decision. If you, what kind of example are you setting? Her decision, I mean, I can only either go by or not allow. Yeah, I think there needs to be some reality check here. And I'm going to send her to Chicago to spend some time with some gang members for you to make some decisions about your life. You're going to see what happens to a lot of the brothers that got involved in gang activity, got criminal records, and then got put out of the system. How many brothers you know been killed, Rocco? I can't even count them on my fingers or my toes. Rodney, how long you been in the organization? I've been in the organization about 20 years now. Where have you been fish? Huh? Would you say I ain't you've been, been a fish? Been... If you're not here, you're in jail. If you're not in jail, you're six feet under. Santrell was walking to school with his mother from this building right here. And as he walked to school, they shot out of the building over there, and they hit him in the head and killed him. He was five years old. The game is so raw and so real that the game has no love for no one. Not even a five-year-old. What are you going to do now about your life? Try to change. I don't want that for my kids. What I seen, you know, the little five-year-old, it kind of touched me when he was on his way to school and gunned down on the street. Your daughter is three years old now? Yes. So what if the rival gang came in and executed her while they made you watch? Can you imagine what that would be like? No, I can't imagine and I don't want to imagine. Exactly. You go out here and you get killed or you get shot and you end up for the rest of your life in a wheelchair, what's going to happen to your babies? They're going to suffer. Anything you want to say to me before you leave? Thank you for sharing the experience that you did. And I also want to thank my auntie for caring. And that's it. Your daughter needs you and this unborn baby needs you and they need you to be on it, sober, healthy, and not out here gangbanging. Because that's the bottom line. We've got enough young African-American people in jail. I'm going to order, though, that you follow up with some counseling. We also are going to help you get in the direction of getting back to school. All right? So I want a graduation invitation. Nothing further will stand adjourned. I apologize for putting you through what I put you through. And I won't change. It's okay. And I thank everybody for helping me out. <laughs> helping me open my eyes to reality for my children's sake.